Hello, and welcome to Art Expression for Stress Release and Self-Reflection. My name is Kimberly Griffiths, and I am a counselor and art therapist in Colorado Springs. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you will enjoy having some time to be creative with me today. Um, the project that we're going to be working on is designed to help you release tension, relax, and have some fun. It's easy to do and should only take you about an hour to an hour and a half to complete. Today our project will be making collage cards. But first I'd like to take you through a short relaxation exercise to help bring you to a place of calmness and be fully present in the moment. So please get comfortable in your chair or on the couch, wherever you'd like to sit. And with your back fully straight, Take some nice, really full, deep breaths. At least three, pulling air all the way in to your lungs and all the way into your belly and then releasing all of your air fully. Really focus on letting your body relax. Keep your hands and your legs uncrossed and then with your eyes closed and you're breathing in a natural progression, I'd like you to bring your attention up to the top of your head. And just imagine feeling the top of your head. You might even imagine a little ball of light just resting lightly at the top of your head about the size of a ping pong ball. Now gently keeping your breathing going steadily, move your attention to your forehead and to the little muscles around your eyes and relax and release any tension that might be there. Bring your attention now to your jaw and make sure that your teeth are not touching, that your shoulders are pulled down from your ears and keep your breathing going nice and steadily so that your chest is open and full. Now bring your attention to your shoulder blades and your back and allow yourself to be completely held by the chair or the couch, wherever you're sitting. Move your attention down your arms past your elbows, to your wrists and your fingers. Now bring your attention to your breath again and move your breath down your spine, all the way into your hips. Bring your attention now to your legs and move down your legs, bringing that little ball of light down each leg Relaxing your upper muscles, going past your knees, to your shins and your calves, and all the way down to the bottom of your feet and your toes. And now move your attention, or that little ball of light, to a place that I call your center, and that's between your heart and your belly button and allow this little light to start to grow and expand through your body with every breath, filling you with a warm, comfortable light. Now notice at this time if you have any more tension within your body and if you do find a spot, use your breath to breathe right into that area and let go and relax. Good. Now, with a nice full breath, come back to realizing that you're sitting in a chair or on the couch, and gently and slowly, when you're ready, open your eyes. 
Wonderful. Welcome back. Okay. Now, this project that we're doing today, these collage cards, are designed to help us to be reminded how important it is to think of positive thoughts or to focus on inspirational aspects of our lives. So what we're going to do is create a series, and you can see that I have several choices here. We're going to be using a list of inspiring words or words of emotion that you'll be drawn to today. You can choose maybe three or four, but my choices include joyful, hopeful, inspired, happy, and again, these are just samples of what I've done in the past. Playful, very important to remember to play and relaxed. So a couple of lists of words have been provided to you that you can download and print off on your own printer, or you can just take a look at the words and choose them yourself and write them on paper or a card. Some of these words, again, will include what I just shared, but there's plenty of others to choose from. So to start today, I'd like you to pull out a sheet of paper, just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock paper is easier to use than just plain printing paper. And you're gonna cut that eight and a half by 11 sheet into four equal sizes. So it'd be four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half. So ultimately you'll end up with four, but I'm just gonna start with two today. And then look through the list of words and choose three or four words that you find intriguing today. I picked for today's exercise, dream and wonder. Especially during times when we might be feeling stress or anxiety from things that are going on in the world or in our personal lives, these two words to me represent the aspect of relaxing and letting go of all of that stress and anxiety. So I hope that you were able to find some magazines, some used magazines that you have around the house that you might find some images or uh, additional words that you find connected to the words that you chose on your list today. I went ahead and picked out a couple of images that I thought represented wonder. So I have this beautiful moonscape and um, a scene from Egypt with some pyramids. Both of those are incredibly wonderful, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glue mixture that I make using Mod Podge, which you can buy at, gosh, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, almost any place that has um, art supplies. And I put a little bit into a bowl that I like to cover with a plastic lid because I never seem to use it all at once and don't want to throw it away if I don't need to. And I put just a little bit of water in, and it's usually about two or three drops of water. I like to use a brush that I don't normally use to paint with. And I just stir up the mixture so it's, oh, it's got a nice drip to it, but not too thin. Then I'm going to take my word, wonder, and I'm going to cut it to about that size right there. I'll take the images. I'm not quite sure how I'll use both of these yet, but I'll start out by trimming the edges off.
I think I'll, I'll crop this moon down a little bit closer. And then basically what I'm going to do is figure out how I want to place these on the card. So this one looks like maybe it needs to be trimmed just a little more to allow it to fit on the card size. Okay. I think I'm going to trim the whole thing. There we go. And then I'll decide where I want to place these. And then I use my glue mixture, starting with the scene that I want down first, and just put some glue on the back. You can also use just regular white glue or Elmer's glue. Uh, again, watered down just a little bit to use it for as long as possible. I'm going to place it down on my card. And then I'm going to actually practically paint right over the top so that the edges stay down nice and snugly to the paper. Okay, I'll pull my moonscape. Let's see, it feels right. There we go. The goal for this type of project too is to not think of being a perfectionist, but just relaxing and having fun with the images that you choose. and layering one on top of the other. So I have a quite a bit of white space on here and that's okay. I, at some point I might want to add another image of some kind that pulls out the aspect of wonder for me. But for time's sake, I'll just go ahead and put my word down on here. And there we have one of the cards. So second one I'm going to do is about dream. There it is. And I already pulled out a picture that I thought was very dreamy-like. I would love to take a trip on a sailboat. And basically this one is going to just fill up the entire card. So I am just going to glue the whole thing down and then probably trim off any extra edges. All right. Super easy. So there's a little on the side I like to trim off. As this dries, some of that wrinkling will lessen. Put a little bit more on this end, I think. All right, great. And I'll pull out my word. And there we go. So I have wonder and dream. So how I use these cards is I'll keep a stack of these by my bed or in the kitchen and I'll choose one for the day. 
And I might even carry this with me in my purse, or if I'm going to an office, I'll put this right by my computer. And it just reminds me, again, in this case, to be hopeful. Springtime always comes back around again. I love the beauty of spring flowers, and it just helps me to feel connected to my heart center. So I hope you enjoy this project. You can make as many of these as you want to. You can, again, share this exercise with your uh, children or a spouse. It's just a fun, playful way to make smaller collages that you can carry around with you. Okay, now that you have completed your collage cards, I'd like you to reflect on the following question. What were the four words you chose to use today and why? Please take a moment to write down your answer as fully as possible. Thank you to Bemis School of Art and the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center for allowing us to spend time together. Thanks so much and we'll see you again. Mm -hmm.